hope the wind ain't messing with the mic that much. Oh, there was something that clicked. I felt that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I know what that is. Look at this. Yeah! What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. As you can tell, you know what the deal is. We're back out here for some magnet fishing. Old dad, you know, look, he's out there every time trying to get a heads up on the game. You know, dad and I, we like to come out here and uh, make it a little competition. And as always, we got old Frederick. Let's go, Frederick. Y'all have been loving Frederick on the old magnet fishing videos, and he loves being out here. It gets him out of the house. And you know, what's really good about it is we get to do a little obedience with Fred while we're here. I make him sit. He can't move. I'll make him get in the water, cool off. He comes back and sits down. But old Frederick, he's a good boy, Fred. Fred, look, oh, he says, I smell all kinds of dogs, Dad, leave me alone. <sighs> today, 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 yep, you know me, you know me, wielding the old Bertha. Dad, he's got old Bertha as well. And this is where we're starting it off. We have, why aren't you magnet fishing yet, dude, trying to get one up on me? I gotta win sometime. <laughs> the last one, it was like a tie. Y'all remember it. The one I found the uh, the receiver hitch and dad found the chair. It was a close call. Frank, get it. Oh, there you go, buddy. Good boy. He says, oh, that feels good, dad. We're gonna start at this dock. Dad and I have not been to this dock in well over a year. It's an old dock, good looking dock, but I spotted a dam, a massive dam when we came into this park and I was like, boy, howdy, we went and checked it out and it looks like it's gonna be juicy. You can tell a ton of people fish it. Guarantee you no one has ever magnet fished it. The last time we were here, we found some good stuff. I'm done talking, let's get after it. Oh, oh, and by the way, if you haven't hit that little notification bell down there, do so, cause it'll notify you when these magnet fishing videos go live, when I upload them. Huge shout out to my notification squad. Y'all are amazing. Let's go, Fred. Come on, buddy. Fred, he's been loving magnet fishing lately. But here we go. Hey, first find of the day. Look at that. A bobber and a swivel. There you go. I'm already ahead of you, buddy. And you ain't even put a magnet <laughs> in the water yet. <laughs> Dad's out here getting it already. <laughs> but I did want to tell you guys, check out the new American hat from Ducks. BA is that guy right there. If y'all have been looking for a new Freedom America hat, for this coming 4th July party that we all are gonna be attending. I will link this hat down in the description below. Ducks has came out with some awesome new America inspired gear. But if you wanna pick up any of the Ducks Freedom gear, I will link it all down in the description below. Go pick you up something before it's all gone. Well, here we go. Any luck yet? Hey, what do you got there? You got a Mike's Hard Lemonade bottle cap. Look like Bonzel's been here. And you got a big old treble hook on treble there. Hook, treble hook, in it. I'll be darned. Already ahead of the game, like I said, he's out here cheating already. Cheating. <laughs> he buying stuff that he ain't even put his neck Look at that, you yet. brought up that too. Screw. Huh. Bucket material. Bucket material. But I'm gonna start on this corner. If I remember right, this is just about the right depth. Like six foot, no, not even that. It's like four foot deep yeah this is nice this makes easy easy magnet fishing one thing about it guys is when you get real real deep deep like 20 15 foot man that magnet becomes so heavy out there that it almost makes it impossible to tell if you got anything on it or not so what i do just bob it up and down slightly drag it a little bit Ooh, look at that. Look, I got three hooks on there. Well, this is a small dock. You can really cover some ground on it. I'm all the way on the other side now. Ooh, lots of rocks. Lots of big boulders to get hung up on. I felt like something clicked right Yep, I knew something clicked on it. I heard it. It went click. Piece of metal. I got a piece of metal. What did you get? You're not gonna believe it. Bull. You remember last year we was here and I caught that old uh, screwdriver with the wood handle on it? Sure. Remember when the wood uh, handle broke off? 
No way. You yeah. think that's the that's same? It. Oh, yeah. I kind of remember what you're talking yeah. about. We got a, an old screwdriver. It had the wooden handle on it. And we hit it across here. Oh, and, and it fell it. off. It all broke apart. <laughs> right there it is. Yeah, you can barely recognize. That's a bent flathead screwdriver, the end of it. You're right. Yep. If you went through all your buckets at home, you might have the other half of that. Yep. That just tells you, you know, we come back to the same spots every year, but with these spots, they're public spots. So a lot of people, lots of traffic coming back and forth, in and out. So every year, man, people are losing stuff. You can go back every single year after the camping season, after the fishing season, and give her a go again. I love magnet fishing. There's just something relaxing about it. If you all haven't done it, you really need to try it. Oh, what do we got there? That is a very old bottle cap. What brand is that? Let's see. Man, I can't tell. I thought it was a Budweiser, but I don't think so. I can't tell. It's smashed and really old. Bucket material. Bucket material. Yeah, it looks like another piece of wire. Oh, look at that. Got a piece of wire. We got a leader and a hook. Two more bottle caps. We got a bud, no. I don't know what that one is. Not a bud light, something that I don't know. And a Corona. That's fitting. Just trash that you're getting over, to, over yonder. Have you realized the one thing that we usually get every video we go out that we haven't gotten yet? What? Batteries. Batteries. Yeah, we haven't had any batteries this year. We done found them all in the state. <laughs> oh, Dad said he got something we got. Ooh. Old copper. An old copper blade bait. Here, put it right there. Check that out. An old copper little blade bait. That's cool. pretty cool. That's going in the tackle box. <laughs> yeah. That's going in the antique cap tackle box. <laughs> so you've got two two different tackle boxes. You got an antique for all antique lures. And then you got your new one. At the end of the season, maybe I'll show them off. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are. Uh, Dad's using the chucking method already. I've went around this dock three times. A couple throws here for me. Oh, what's that? That's a that's a weight. Which that reminds me, I want to do a kind of touch on that. I've really appreciated uh, all your guys' positive positive feedback. Uh, whether it's just you guys saying, "Yo, we love just the entertainment that you and your dad provide together," or if it's some of you that you know, I've read a lot of comments where you guys are like. Bobby, you don't know how fortunate you are just to be out there having a good time with your dad. Hey, I know, man. I'm, I'm glad that we found this hobby together, and I'm more glad that you guys are here to uh, experience it with us. And uh, I just want to say thank you to you guys. Me and Dad, we say thank you. you got to turn around, Dad. Love it. <laughs> just want to tell you thank you. You guys are amazing. You guys, what keeps us out here, we do have a lot of fun. We would do it regardless, whether you're here or not. But you guys keep it fresh. You guys keep it fun. I enjoy it. Thank you, guys. We appreciate it. And that's why I was referring to the clickbait weapon video. Y'all, look, we're not out here to do no clickbait, murder weapon shenanigans. We uh, and, and I'm not saying those videos are fake, but I've never found a gun. And um, I just like good old magnet fishing. Eh, that's it. That's it. Being honest with your finds, not finding the greatest things, but just finding something like some old rusty hooks, just like that. Nothing special. Being outdoors, enjoying your time, and you know, the videos are fun no matter what you find. You never know what it's the suspense of finding something without. Right, it's the same the thing. Bait. Yeah, without the clickbait, just the suspense of treasure hunting you know that, that's it being outdoors and enjoying it just like metal detecting i love metal detecting. dad you guys have been wanting us to metal detect let me know down in the comments you want me and dad to go do it and we will man you and these antique lures it looks like a jig head with a piece of carpet on it <laughs> i'll take it <laughs> put it in the toolbox hey, hey if I, I don't care what wins the game i'm here to win yeah that's right Oh, Frederick, he's just here to hang out and get some treats. Well, I'd say it's that time of the day. 
Start chucking her, boys. Start chucking her. You guys did mention that a double-sided magnet for this purpose right here of launching would be better for dragging it back. I do have one. Uh, y'all seen it last year. If y'all want us to get that double-sided, what is that? A double-sided 800 or a double-sided 1,000? I, well, I think it's 650, it's 800 a piece. A piece. So yeah, it's like 1,600 uh, pound pull total, but I wouldn't mind getting it out. It's pretty fun. It catches a lot of good stuff, but I just had so much luck with this bad boy right here. Yeah, I love these flat. flat yep, dad rocks an 800, I rock an 1100 and we get it done. Oh my God. What do we got here, boys? Oh, I was just kicking on the camera and dad goes, oh, Bob, Bob, Bob. Wow, look at that. That's an old one with an old gut hook on it. Woo, I just heard a fish jump behind me. What's the name of that? I don't know. Here, let me read that. That says... Is that a Schrager? Or... Sh let me see that. Schrade. Schrade USA 1680T. What's that mean? It's, well, the 1680T is probably the steel. Yeah, 1680T is the steel. That's just a good old... Oh, oh it's an old timer. That's the brand. See it? I'm, I'm going to clean it up. Oh, yeah. That, hey. That's going in your tackle box. Who's winning today? <laughs> you are winning. You are schooling me already Put today. Put your votes in the comments section. <laughs> Who's winning today? <laughs> that is, uh, wow, that's a good find. This dock, that pays out. That, and that was with you chucking it. That was about four foot out. <sighs> How did it end up all the way out there? You would think that this would just go, someone just, must have just got pissed and... Hey, I don't want it anymore. Either that, they're bringing their fishing boats up in here and it fell over the side, or mm, somebody's true. just saying, poof. True. It's been in there a while, as you can tell. Frederick, check out the knife, buddy. What do you think about that, huh? Well, if you like these videos so far, you know what to do. Smash the thumbs up button for us. For We're out man. here. Yeah, for the old man. He's <laughs> killing me today. Oh, my goodness. Look at the belt. Yep. Oh man. I knew Is something that, was on it. I felt to go click. Look at that. Yep. That's an old. I've never seen that. One I've like never that. seen a bell like that either. Oh. Don't lose it again, dog. Look at that. Yep. I've never seen a double so, bell on springs. That goes around. That might be a homemade rig, man. I bet you that is the most homemade thing. Look at it. I've Maybe never not. Seen no, it's not homemade. You know, the orange and the rubber. Check are... that out, y'all. Little. That is a uh, fish on notification bell right there. That's like you smashing the notification bell on this here channel. Ring a ling ling when you get a fish on. Hmm. I've never seen one like that. I've never seen one and I like that. I almost like that better than the That's knife. definitely going in your tackle box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Bob. Well, about 10 minutes ago, I was about to tell dad, let's go. But I guess we're just going to keep chucking out here, boys and gals. Notice I say gals and not just boys in these uh, magna fishing videos. There's a lot of women that watch these magna fishing videos. You know, this is a hunting YouTube channel primarily. It's obviously not hunting season. It's, it's magna fishing season. But the amount of women, the amount of y'all women out on here, uh, I appreciate y'all, first of all. And the ones that say, hey, we just went out and caught this or found that. Good for you getting out there and getting in something new. These outdoors, a lot of it looks like a man's sport, but you know what? Magna fishing, anyone can do it. And what's that? That's a piece of a pole. Look at that. That's a piece of a spinning rod or a fishing rod, isn't it? Fishing reel. The other side of the handle. Yep. Well, we gave it another 10 minutes. What do you think we've been here? Have we been here an hour? Uh, maybe you kind of lose track of time when you're doing this and having fun you do it's crazy how enjoyable this stuff is yeah but i think we're gonna load up and uh we're gonna go to the dam that i was telling y'all about this dam y'all i'm telling you uh lots of fishing going on there we looked down and all you seen was fish and you see nothing but foot traffic and trash and so whatever falls next to this damn wall that we're going to be fishing on it ain't going to ever be moving because there's no current right there so a lot of stuff dropped in there let's go see if we can find something come on fred load up let's go good boy frederick oh frederick come on buddy let's go new spot like i told you check this 
out. Woo, it's a big old dam, and I mean big, giant, giant. Okay, yeah, catch my drift. So right here, tons of cigarettes and trash. People fish right here all the time. It's pretty deep. Uh, it looks about six, eight foot, pretty clear water. You can see, oh, someone had the old stoner out. <laughs> but as you can tell, this dam should be good. Let's go. Well, I guess I'm gonna start at one end and work myself around like I usually do. Whoo, that's a long ways down there. Do not lose your uh, rope today, because you ain't gonna get it back. All right, here we go, boys and gals. This is sweet, what a view. We got good wind. It's actually nice and cool right here. It's sitting at like 85 degrees out, so we're gonna get to work here. I got something. I got something. What is it? Oh, look at that. Good old lucky can. Felt you on the end of there. Man, that's so much rope out there. Sorry for the wind. I hope it's not too windy for y'all either, but I have a feeling we're gonna catch a bunch of stuff here, man. Yeah, I just felt, felt something click. There's something on there. This is the bad part. Look how far it is. You gotta reel this all the way up. I need a winch. Oh, ooh, a razor blade. Yuck. Dude. That's nasty. A, a razor blade. Yeah. Something about that's just gross, right? Why why would people chuck a razor blade? I do not. Don't know, but that's gross. Boy, I don't know how many times I've pulled it up and nothing's been on this thing. Uh, what's that? I felt something click. We got a big, big a huge sinker and a bottle cap that is an old natural light that's an old bottle cap holy cow that was far well there we go old natty light i haven't seen that old of a natty light one for a long time in the bucket it goes frederick what are you doing man you about ready to get back in huh i really hope the wind ain't messing with the mic that much. Oh, there was something that clicked. I felt that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I know what that is. Look at this. Oh, we hit the jackpot. Knife. Look at this. Check out that old dude. Old chrome guy. Oh, be darn. Old chrome knife. Check that out. Second knife of the day. I cannot believe that. Everybody's gonna have to vote whose knife is nicer. <laughs> Look, he's not as happy now when I find one. You were all cranked up a minute ago. And check this out. We hit the absolute jackpot of bottle caps here. Two Coronas. Oh, look, that's the same guy. Look how he pried yeah. them off and threw them in the same. They're new, too. I'll be done. Looks like a wine bottle. Look at that, though. That isn't a bad little find on one pull up there. Yanked her up. And this old beauty, you know, I wonder how many old knives we found now throughout the last three years. I bet you we found 20, 25, 30. I mean, honestly, a bunch. Last year was the nicest one with the nicest handle on it. Do you right, think? right. The one today that you found, it's not, I think yours is nicer than mine. I'll let the people vote on it. <laughs> we'll let the people decide. <laughs> oh, oh, Frederick, old daddy's back in the money. Oh, yeah. Game on, Dad. Game on. We've been here, here at the dam for, I don't know, how long you think it's been? Probably 30, 45 minutes? 45 minutes. 45 minutes. And uh, best find so far on the dam. I knew it was going to pay off at some point because, look, people, you can guarantee you, they sit their lawn chairs here, telltale sign, beer cans everywhere, which we will pick up when we leave. What do we got here? What do you got? Oh, another bottle cap. Is it another Corona? Bud Light Platinum. <laughs> Bud Light Platinum. We got a whole liquor store out here of freaking caps, man. I guarantee you what happened with that knife, someone set it right here and they knocked it off and then there she went. That's what I was hoping, that people would lose stuff right here. It happens all the time on uh, good fishing docks. 
Well, here's the strategy now. Get her to swing in like so. Get her swinging. It's so far down here. Oh, and just let her fly, boys. Drag her back. Bad thing is, there's a bunch of big old boulders down there, so you get snagged up. This is a spot where you could lose your magnet pretty easily, not gonna lie. But, man, this dam, it makes you work a little harder here. It's not as easy as a dock, I'll tell you right now. Well, let's check her out. Looks like got something on there. I don't know what it is. Oh, that's a oh, that's a bell flip bell end for a spinning reel. And then we got a screw. No. Oh. Woo! Anchor down, boys. Anchor down. believe this <laughs> why do you gotta say that you're not gonna believe this not what gonna believe this. what not gonna believe this. <laughs> oh <laughs> you you suck uh -uh. oh you always i cannot recall the last time i found a multi-tool you're the multi-tool master and they're yeah, really they're pros yeah they are they're mm. pros up let me see the other side are they I don't know if you can hey yeah you're missing a screw there too they're pretty they're pretty toast just a collector's item that'll go in the antique toolbox yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a good find you're definitely uh you've smoked me by now i'm i'm toast i'm vominos games on next week yep dad doesn't want this one i don't we don't even have to review the finds which we will here in a minute at the truck we'll we'll look at our finds but you just you smoked me there bud Woo! Well, we've been at it here for another 15, 25 minutes. No luck. Dad's multi-tool was the last thing we found. No more bottle caps. We cleaned her dry. I guarantee you we didn't clean her dry. I guarantee no, you there's no a way. lot more. No, there's a lot more out there. Right. It's really hard to magnet fish as well, guys. It's very high. And there's a ton of boulders. Dad actually got snagged up and almost lost his yeah. magnet. Uh, you had to walk around the other side and get it off. But... As you can tell, this is a dam. We just hit this west side, guys. There is that one over there, the nether dam, just like the one we were on. So if you guys wanna see us go to the other side, let us know again down in the comment section. Dad and I, we love to hear your guys' comments, what you guys do like in these videos, what you guys want more of. You guys gotta let us know. But here is our finds today. Nothing big at all. I mean, small items, but really, really awesome items. Um, you guys gotta pick dad found the multi-tool and this knife and i got this knife i i still say this gut this one's older you can tell it's just got a lot more character it's called an old timer i have heard of old timer knives oh yeah old timers are everywhere but old frederick i'm gonna take him down to the water so he can get a drink and jump in real quick he's hot it's getting hot out summer's here y'all if you have not magnet fish I, I really, really, really urge you guys to get out and try it. If you're going camping anyways every weekend, get out there. Buy a cheap magnet. There's tons of cheap ones on Amazon. Pick one out. The bigger the better. I would stick around about a thousand pound pole magnet is about perfect. Like I said, dad runs the 800 pound pole. I run the 1100 pound pole. Between the both of us, we can get it done. The more magnets you have in the water at one location, the more you're gonna find by yourself, you're just less likely to find stuff. So the more, the greater, the merrier, the better time, the better finds. But again, I really hope you guys enjoyed these magnet fishing videos. I am gonna try to bring you guys at minimum one a week. I'd really like to pump it up to two a week. If you guys like that, let me know. Please help me get this video over a thousand. Let's make it 2,000 likes. With your help, we can make it happen, guys. It's been a while. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that little notification bell down there like I told you. And the Ducks America hats. Look at it. Look at it. Get it ordered up because if you order it now, you'll have it before the 4th of July. I will link everything down in the description below. Thank y'all for being here. But until next time. Come on, Fred. Go get him. Peace. I've been